Hello, this is a bit niche. Uh, if you're looking for a quick, clean, simple way to take a microdrive apart, because <laughs> who doesn't look for that, then um, this is the video for you. No faffing about. Let's get straight on with it. Flip it over. There's four screws on the back. Uh, these are posi drive screws, so I'm using a PZ1 bit. You can probably just about read that on there, PZ1. Um, they kind of over engineered it a little bit. So let's just take these four screws out just very quickly. Put them to one side because another thing they did, which was a bit annoying, is they use different size screws for just about everything. So um, let's just take these screws out. Now you can use an electric sort of screwdriver to take them out. But I wouldn't use it to put them back in again because this is 40 year old plastic and it will break. So that's the four screws out. That just lifts off. That's used to bolt two together as you probably know. Move that to one side. Right. Now flip it back over and you'll need prying tools. And this is where it gets a little bit awkward and it might be different. Well, it will be different for the one that... <laughs> <laughs> for your one. This one's had its um, sticky thing taken off a few times just so I could sort of hone the technique. So you get your pry tool and you tease this metal plate off, this cover off. Now this is going to tease off quite easily so your one will take a bit longer but once you see what's there you'll know kind of what to expect. So if I, as I tease it off you can see it's lifting up and then what I can do is I can get another tool and then just get underneath and then get underneath and very slowly lift it up. I don't think you could hear it, but I could hear this sort of tearing noise. And that's because there's double sided tape all over the back of it. This has lost its tack a little bit, but it's glued on pretty well. And because it's aluminium, it'll bend. So very slowly, very slowly tease it off. Do not use a knife because a knife will scratch and mark and dent. Use a proper pry tool. Once you've got that off, there are two more screws which you can undo. They're hidden underneath. They are also posi drive. So you take those two screws out. They are different lengths, remember? So put them to one side and remember where they came from. Because it's easy to put things back in the wrong hole and then put that there. And now when you take the plate off the back, you'll notice there's a little catch there. And this front will lift off at the front, but it'll get caught on this bit at the back. So you get your pry tool and shove it in that hole there. And that will just push that tab in like that. And then the lid comes off. As it comes off, this LED falls out of its hole. There's a hole in there, look, that little hole there. And the LED is just sort of stuck in there, except it's not stuck, it's just sort of pushed in. So as you lift it off, be careful with that. It should just fall out anyway. And then there's the actual interior of the drive. So if you're looking to um, just check things out, that's probably as far as you need to go. But if you want to go a bit further, then flip it back over, there's a screw here. That screw is probably going to be covered by uh, a sort of a warranty sticker. So it's, it's quite... It's pretty mad that you can actually get the thing apart without breaking the warranty sticker, but anyway, still. So that sticker you can probably peel off. I mean, it'll be 40 years old, so it should be relatively simple to come off without damaging it. So just undo that screw. That's quite a long screw. It's uh, it's not officially PosiDrive, but obviously PosiDrive works. Uh, actually, no, it's not. So we put that there. And what that does is it releases this main bit here with the motor on it and that means you can just lift that up and get access to that screw there because you've got that one there to undo as well. So let's just take that one out now we've got access to it. And that comes out, put that to one side so you don't forget which one it is and then you get that one there as well. So we'll just get that one out. And with that one out, we should be able to take the whole mechanism out. And we do. Put that, 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 that. So that's the, that's the base plate quickly removed. And now we've got access to the underside of there. And that's the whole interior taken out. Now, to put it back together again, 
you just do the same thing in reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that back roughly where it needs to be because we're going to move it anyway to get the screw in. Grab the screw. Magnetic bits are quite helpful here because they obviously hold the screw. And then just put that screw in there. I'll flick the ratchet. Put that screw in there. Get the next one. And then lift up the motor assembly and then just get access to that hole there and put that screw in. Now this is 40 years old as I've already mentioned so do not use an electric screwdriver to put these screws back in as you can do some fairly radical and serious damage. Then it's just a question of making sure that's seated correctly which it kind of is. It will pinch, it will pinch the wires a little bit so we just have to make sure that everything is roughly in the right place and the one that's important is the one underneath so that screw there so we'll put that screw back in and that will hold the motor and main circuit board assembly in place again gently do not over tighten it now we get to the fun bit it might be worth putting a little tiny bit of, of sort of sticky stuff on that so that when you put it back in the hole because there's a little tiny hole in there I don't know how well you can see that but it'll poke out like that so you can sort of see it poking out try and get a light on it that's better so it sort of goes in there now it kind of sticks in but it doesn't stick in particularly well it comes out quite easily so we've got to watch is when you put the you've got to watch that basically when you put the thing back on you've got to try and hold it so that it stays in the hole which is easier said than done so it's actually worth putting a little tiny bit of sticky stuff on there just to hold it in. I'm not going to do it for this one. I'm just going to try and get it in without doing that. But I think it's it's come out and it's not doesn't really want to go back in without and stay in. So I'm just going to try and do it. And it's just so that it can be done. Right. Well, it's not great, is it? See, it's not sticking out. So yeah, what you do is you put a bit of you put a bit of sticky stuff on that just to hold it in place and once that's on you can then put the two screws back in put the face clip back on and then do that so i'm going to stop the video there um, any questions stick them in the comments i hope it's useful as i mentioned i couldn't find a video on how to do this there's one video where um they faff about for ages before getting to the point so i thought if you want to take your micro drive apart because um you're swapping it out for the SD reader or something, which is actually pretty cool to be fair. Um, then this is how you get it apart so that you can, yeah, so that you can do it. Um, just be careful when you prise off that metal plate though. Just be very careful because it will bend. This one's a bit bad and scratched. Don't prise it off. Don't prise it off from the front edge because that bit there seems to bend a bit better. Tease it up and then pull it off from the back. But yeah. Um, liking and subscribing is always appreciated. I'm having a bit of a retro moment at the moment, so there might be a few more videos about this sort of stuff. Um, but um, if you've got any particular preferences, then obviously make a comment. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.